here, I have a special guest. Because let me tell you the reason why it's special. I've got a smile on my face. I know Garth does too. <laughs> because he's come up with such a simple idea. And the simple idea is now selling. Where is it selling, Garth? It's in Walmarts across the nation. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And Thrilled I, about it. And I saw the picture. When I, wait a minute. First of all, when I, let's back up. When sure. I first saw your, your product idea, I was kind of like, wow, this is really simple. <laughs> and I was a little amazed until you sent me one. Ah. And then I used it. And there you it, go. It really works well. In fact, I think it's the best. What is it? What's your product? It's the best, it's the best bottle cap back scratcher ever devised. Or okay. back scratcher devised, if you will. There's, there you go. All right. Let's start at the very beginning. Tell us a little bit about your product and how you came up with it. Let's start. Quite simply, I was out barbecuing, uh, and uh, down here in the south, I got a, a mosquito bite, which you can imagine, sitting under the trees, and uh, picked up a bottle cap to put on my finger to itch, itch it, and said, wow, that feels pretty good. Uh, in a few seconds, I thought more would be better, and when I looked down at the barbecue and saw the spatula there, the lights went off, I said, yeah, I need a handle to reach the spot that I can't reach. and. Uh, there you have it, right there. That's uh, the the infancy and the genesis of this product. It's amazing. You're, wait, 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 wait. Let me let me backtrack. You're barbecuing. You're, sure. You're, you're out and you got a scratch. You take a bottle cap. You might, maybe you're probably having a, a drink or a beer. You're yeah, just ch chilling outside with my barbecue. And then did you just put them on here and then started doing it and say, "Hey, no. this is fantastic." No. Uh, I went and got a spatula, if you will, and I put the uh, bottle caps on there. And uh, it was from there that it went on, but it, it works awesomely. Works. In fact, I still have that original one in my truck. So I keep one in my truck, one at home. You know, you hate to have, once you've used one and you don't have one available, when you have that itch right back there, well, uh, kind of makes you frustrated. Well, it's such a simple idea, isn't it? <laughs> It is. It really is simple, but it works so good, and that's what I kind of capitalized on. Okay. Uh, it was only probably a week before it occurred to me that this is a really exciting branding product, you know, with the implied meaning of I'll scratch your back if you scratch mine. Um, so, you know, it translates a lot across a lot of things. Mainly, it's a fun product. So It is. Now, we're going to put a picture of you up in just a minute. James will do that so everybody can see right. you in Walmart. Because you've got some great placement. How did you get the great placement in Walmart? How'd that happen? Uh, just going to have to to say thank you to uh, my licensee. You know, uh, that's all his doing. Okay. Uh, he's been doing this a while, and he has great distribution. Okay. So, and he likes the product. So when he first saw it, okay, you, you licensed it to this company. When you first saw it, what did the guy say? Did he love it, or what happened? Well, let me let me explain quickly for you. Uh, Actually, you know, through InventRight and uh, the contacts that we want to talk to, um, this was a small company. There's not much of a uh, presence online. I didn't call them because I couldn't find out any information. And it, and it wasn't until my coach, Ryan Diaz, sent, sent me a picture of him holding a, uh, this back scratcher from Bed Bath & Beyond. It was a dog paw. And he said, Garth call these people. They have placement in Bed Bath and & Beyond. And uh, when you think about it and reflect on that, I sent my sell sheet to uh, the owner there and uh, in three minutes he was back on the phone to me because he understood the product. Okay. He understood that niche. So our I coach, think wait a minute, let me back up. Our coach, Ryan Diaz, is in Bed Bath & Beyond. He sees a company, knows he's coaching you and then Takes a that's picture right. and sends it to you and says, hey, you got to call these guys? That's right. That's how it worked. Uh, he's a good coach, too, isn't so, he? He's awesome. So, yeah. so, you know, we've developed a great friendship over time and working with him. And I'm working on my second product now. No, he's very proud, too. Uh, is there anything you want to say to people that are listening? Because, Garthy, everybody thinks it's really difficult. Was it difficult for you? And how do you feel today? How do you feel today walking down the Walmart? and seeing your product there. How's that feel? 
Well, I'm thrilled, and it's it's you know it's kind of surreal in a sense uh, to see your product there. But I've been waiting it for quite some time. Um, all I can say is this is a great experience. It's what you work for, okay. and uh, I'm just uh, loving the whole thing. So it's fun to see your product out there on the shelves, and it represents all the work behind it. But now the product gets to prove itself uh, as being the best back scratcher, if you will, that's out there. The fun part for me and with my marketing background and, and how I looked at it was thematically dressing this up. What can my licensee do to make this product fun for people? And uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing different iterations of it. Now, you have it in the back. It's a great stocking stuffer, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> I'll pull one out for you here. Yeah, show everybody the package. There you go. Congratulations, Garth. Is there anything else perfect? Is there anything else you want to say about InventRight or anything else about the process? Uh, I want to say this to you, Stephen, that, um, you know, I've been working on, on these types of things for a while. I actually had patents, uh, two patents on this product, tried to do things myself, sent it to, to the company that actually invented bottle caps. I won't name them, but you would think that, oh, they'd love this, but... Um, they're into making containers now and what have you. But InventRight, when I saw your book, I was I was looking online. I was working in San Antonio, and uh, I hadn't had no success. The guy sent my stuff back. I think he was excited. I, I built it up that hey, this this exciting product's coming, and um, he thought it was maybe some fancy container, but it was back scratchers. He didn't understand it. Uh, but InventRight, when I saw your book, okay. One simple idea. I ordered it immediately, and I skimmed through it pretty quickly. And I called my wife up and said, "This is it. I can do this." Okay. And and really, that's the key. Is ten steps. How can I not do that? You know. And then when you see the coaching help and uh, the mentoring and the and the productive, uh, uh, warm atmosphere that you guys create, uh, how can you not be successful with that? You know. Well, Garth, congratulations. Well done. Thank you. And uh, I know the whole community is going to love this video because it's probably one of the simplest ideas I've seen, but it's brilliant at the same time. You know, I love one simple ideas and you definitely have one. So congratulations and Merry Christmas. And everybody that's watching this, go to Walmart, buy the bottle bottle cap back scratcher, put it in a, your friend or your own stocking stuffer and Merry Christmas, everybody. There you go. Take care. Hi, this is Stephen Key. And I just want to thank you for watching InventRight TV. We're here to save you time, save you money, and show you how you can bring your products to market through licensing. So please, subscribe down below, click on the button, and tell your friends. Thank you.